welcome to this APSIS Soft FM Resilience in School Catering, Cleaning and Janitorial Services Seminar. Um, it's good to see so many of you on. I think it's important to say before we start what an interesting and challenging time we've all been working through. Um, and I think it's fair to say that we've seen the very best of catering, cleaning and FM services over the past few months. And we really need to celebrate some of that. It evolved into food parcel delivery, which was a huge operation delivering to our most vulnerable. And, and we um, it, it transferred our free school meal families into that. It's a positive development for us. Uh, a full return allows us to offer as close to a normal a service as possible. And that means we can, as soon as operational challenges allow, get back to good quality hot school meals. We need to focus on the benefits of local food, how that can drive the sustainability agenda. We need to clearly outline how food supports local businesses and the circular economy, as well as the economies of our local communities. We have had some contractual gains during the pandemic. Some schools that were already unhappy with the service they were provide, being provided, uh, all the kitchen staff were furloughed, but then the schools were still charged a considerable amount, which then made them come to us and say, could you help us out and get these children fed? That meant mobilising opening the service in the middle of lockdown, including full staff training and restocking of all supplies and equipment. So that was a, a good challenge for the team. So this shows our um, one of our secondary schools provision for grab and go. Um, as I say, each school we've worked with individually because they've all wanted something different. But that just gives you an example of the sort of thing they're looking for. It's good practice for our kitchen staff to be reminded of, of the procedures that they should be following. But it also just reinforces that information to the schools that we are doing the correct thing and that we have all the right provisions in place. As more emphasis was on climate change um, from cabinet members um, and also from um, more schools, so we were getting more and more questions coming through. Um, the council um, then decided to set up a task force um, to gather members from all areas of the business and local schools to become more environmentally friendly and plastic free by 2030. Our catering, um, myself and Kate, um, we were strong advocates already for that, but I think what we didn't do was actually promote it as much as what we felt that we could do. We've had a massive energy campaign which has been in both our buildings and our school kitchens and for this we actually involved school employees, so in Lorna's case some of the catering team took part in some um, photographic sort of um, pictures of them um, looking at what they were doing in their kitchens um, and things that that picked up on is not putting ovens on too early before the start of day so we were just wasting energy basically. Um, looking at did we need the lighting on in certain areas, could we actually control it better, looking at how we were running water um, and looking at how we were actually getting rid of our, our waste out of our buildings. We've also got um, a cup initiative. I know there's a picture of a cup up here which operates in all our cafes, which Lorna um, operates. Um, and you pay a pound for a cup and then you get you can have it um, refilled at a reduced rate when you take it back. The, the scheme operates across the borough, the whole of Telford, so it's not just in Norna's cafes, there's various cafes around the, the borough that do that and the events team also use them. So um, as Transformation Agenda in Pembrokeshire, we've been running now for a couple of years as to how we can improve what we're doing as an authority and we have three key themes, technology, culture and relationship. We wanted to look at a flexible workforce that required less building space, we wanted to develop digital, developing an appropriate digital offer for both internal and external customers. From the day that we had announced the guidance and the confirmation from Welsh Government, we had 15 working days to turn around what we then, what we didn't know then, but what we then knew to be 40 additional cleaners coming online. We weren't able to recruit in the time scales and we didn't have available trained staff and we had no time for recruitment. So this was a huge, huge challenge. And looking back on it, I quite frankly, I'm not entirely sure how we managed to pull this one off. APSI are here to support you and your authority to meet the challenges ahead. APSI training has a range of online courses. APSI solutions are able to provide specialist support for service reviews, etc. Performance networks have developed and circulated the COVID-19 specific data templates and are currently working on developing the Building Cleaning Audit App. 
thank you for everyone who's uh, logged in today.